Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 15 The Show, Road to Show with Simon Unger, and this is episode 86. As you see here, we're getting ready for the uh, end of the month here, we're getting to the end of June here. As you see here, we got a three-game series here against Baltimore here coming up. Brandon Morrow is going to be on the mound there for a six and three record with a three point three. Or I should say a 5.38 ERA, 81 strikeouts for him going against uh, Manuel Gonzalez here. As you see, 5-2 and two for him, and he is 3.50 ERA. Now there you see we are in first place there, and of course we have a 7.5 game lead over Baltimore uh, going to this game here. So we're looking pretty good right now here in the American League East. Of course, take a look there. You guys can check those out, see who's... Uh, Doing out what else uh, other players are, or teams are doing, whatever your favorite team is. You guys can pause the video and check that out. But uh, yeah, we are getting ready for this series here as we just got done finishing up the series there against the Angels in the last episode. And of course, uh, we took only one game out of that series there. And uh, Unger uh, did a little, a little trouble there going in that series. And we'll see what he can uh, if he can bounce back here. Uh, in this uh, series here with Baltimore. So, like I said, there's a pitching matchup there. Again, there's the stats and numbers there for both pitchers here. And it should be a really good game here. And it should favor in, uh, really towards uh, Baltimore. Or not Baltimore, but excuse me, but uh, <laughs> Toronto. So, there you see 50 and 29 record there for Toronto as Simon Unger and his uh, teammates are here in Oriole Park here. A beautiful night here in Baltimore. And hopefully we can get a win here and um, extend this lead even further here against Baltimore here coming up. So there you see Unger. There you see the last six games. His numbers there. 10 for 23 there. Hitting a little over 430 there. His average at 375. Top of the first here with one out with a runner on board. That one's going to get past the third base. And that's going to be a nice base hit there for Unger as he gets in there and gets a single there and advances the runner there 90 feet to second so nice play there from him and he is looking very confident there for himself so now top of the second now now we're kind of almost batted around here and we'll see a runner at second here with two outs and Unger he'll slap that one in there he's gonna go for two no on the second thing he's gonna go for one he's gonna slide back in there but he does get an RBI in there so that's an RBI single for him He'll get 28 points for that effort there as uh, the uh, Baltimore pitching staff here looks a little shaken up here. And just in the first two innings here, uh, Manuel doesn't look too good. And, of course, he's going to have to be talked to from his coach. Now, top of the fourth now, 6-3 is the score here. We're leading by three. And a nice uh, hit there, but that one gets grounded out there to the shortstop there and gets to Unger. So Unger makes contact that time, but not enough to get him safely on board now a score is now 10 11 here late in the seventh inning here and this one gets skied up there that is getting out of here that's a home run there for unger and that will be his 31st home run of the season there as he is trotting around here and definitely uh really having those uh, orioles fans really hate him as now he is now tied up this ball game here with that solo shot definitely a no doubter there that's 30 points there for his training there. And there you see Edwin Carcinone. He's going to come up to bat. And he's been hitting pretty well, especially behind Unger here. We'll see a replay. Nice uh, pitch right there. That's inside. And, of course, here lately he's been uh, batting left-handed here. And he's been taking those and pulling the hell out of those ball, uh, the balls there when he's uh, batting left there and taking them to the house. So we'll see a pitching uh, change here coming up here in this inning. As Unger already did the damage there. And, of course, now they just want to try to make sure they can uh, keep this lead or keep this game tied up and try to get back the lead. But now top of the eighth here, we're leading by one here, 12 to 11. And we'll see that Unger, he'll rip that one through there. The second uh, shortstop can get a hold of that one. That was a hot one. But Unger, whoa there. He's going to have to go to second. But he'll actually end up going to third. As the catcher there drops the ball there at the plate, but they only uh, credit him a double. But we'll see here, four and six for the day for Unger. 
Right, you see we win the ball game 12, 14 to 12. So bit of a uh, high uh, offensive game there. Not much defense, but let's take a look here at our player spotlight. Of course, talking about Unger and his four games that, or I should say his four hit game there. He just had in that last episode there. Uh, like I said, he was uh, four for five for the game, a home run, 31st of the year. Three RBIs, a run, a double, and win the game at four, or, uh, 14 to 12. Is he, uh, or I should say his batting average now is at 381 now. So he is hitting, uh, he's he's red hot right now, you guys. And getting very, very close to the All-Star game here. Uh, by the looks of the All-Star votes, uh, pretty much he got, he's pretty much a shoe-in for first place uh, in starting position there as a uh, all-star for the American League. So we'll see here. We're coming to the second game here now here at Oriole Park and getting ready here to take on the uh, Orioles once again. There you see numbers again. Uh, last seven uh, game, seven game hitting streak, and there you see 14 of 29 there for him. And uh, like I said, he is heating up and heating up at the right time of the year. So top of the first here, nobody on board, two outs, and that one will get uh, ground out there to first base. Nice play there from Chris Davis, who makes the play and gets the out. So no score after the first inning here, as we're scoreless. Still scoreless here in the top of the fourth here. Nobody on board and nobody out, and Unger will get underneath that one. That one will end up staying in the ballpark there. And uh, easy play there for the left fielder, who makes the out there, and that right there will be the uh, bat there for Unger. So 0 for 2 now here in this ball game here as he's not able to do anything. We'll see here top of the 6 here still scoreless with a, nobody on board and one out. And we'll see Unger. He'll outrun this one. And he does a nice job there. Runs that one out and does definitely does a hustle there on Hardy as Hardy just cannot get that throw there on time. Nice diving to stop there from J.J. Hardy but just cannot get the ball there. Uh, because Unger is just, just a little too fast for him. So now we'll go ahead now to some defense here, bottom of the six here. Let's show, see what kind of glove uh, he has today. we got a runner on first here. We're going to try to see if we can get a double play and help out the pitcher here. Nice grounder right here. Nice flip right there to second. Nice play there. Nice double play there as he flips that one without really too much effort there. And a good uh, double play there to get them help them get the, out of this any sooner uh, than later. So nice play right there from uh, the defensive side of it for Unger. Now we'll go to the top of the eighth. Still scoreless here. We've got runners on the corners here. And that right there, that other play gets Unger out. But Unger is able to get in an RBI. And uh, they don't credit him an RBI. That is an RBI. And they do get a run on the board. So one to nothing now here late in the eighth inning here. The team is only hoping that they can hold on to this lead here as we see the replay. They return the favor there as Unger got the double out or double play there earlier when the uh, Orioles were off the bat, but Orioles came back and uh, did the same. But there you see one nothing we win that one there and Unger uh, for that ball game there. He is one for four for in that ball game there against the Orioles. So game two, we now uh, two games and none here and get ready for the final game of this three-game series here. But we'll take a look here. Uh, we've got a five-and-a-half game lead over the Rays. There you see Orioles nine-and-a-half there, and uh, they got a lot of work to do. You see Red Sox, of course, there nine games out of first place with a 44-39 and 39 record along with the uh, Yankees there, 39-44. and 44. So they have uh, flip-flop records there. And uh, Yankees are at in last place looking up at everyone else. So we'll go to the final game here at Oriole Park. Again, another packed house here. And, uh, of course, uh, they want to see their Orioles do well here. Like I said, they're nine and a half games out of first place. And there you see uh, the series. He's five for ten here. We'll see what he can do here. This first at bat here, top of the first. Runner on first with one out. No score. And we'll see Unger. He'll get underneath this one. This one's going to be a fly out out there to center field there. Nice catch there. As, uh... Adam Jones gets underneath that one and grabs that one for an out. So easy play there for the center fielder there watching the ball there. Uh, just, yeah, just got underneath that one. Just a little too much there for Unger as he is unable to do anything with that first at-bat. So we'll see what he can do here 
in uh, in a bit, but we'll go to see some defense here. Now it's four nothing here, bottom of the second here. Uh, Toronto does a great job there, scoring right after uh, Unger had that pop out there. Uh, two outs now with a runner on first here for or the Orioles. We'll see if they can turn, uh, get this uh, ground out here. We'll see here in just a bit from Unger. And we'll see here. He'll snag that one, and he will get the force out there at second. Nice play there. And uh, didn't really have that much time to try to get that ball to first, so he tried to get to the closest base to him. Top of the third now. Here we go. We'll see Unger here up to bat here. That one will be a blooper out to left, and that will be an easy out there. You see five pitch at bat there for Unger. With solid contact there and right, make sure the ball stays in the uh, ballpark there. Now top of the fifth here with a runner on second here. This is going to be a little chopper there to the first baseman. He's going to have to flick that one to, uh, to right, but right unable to get his foot down there as Unger is already on first, and that will be a single infield hit there. For Unger. Now top of the fifth here, 10-1 to one here. We're leading this one, and we'll see a runner on second and third, and, or excuse me, first and third, and uh, unable to advance the runner there as that's going to be a force out there at second. Now top of the seventh here, now 12-1. Now is the score, two outs. Unger up to bat here with a runner on first. We'll see what he can do here with this at bat here. He'll swing at this one. This one go high. This one go deep. And the left fielder has no choice but just look over his head and see that ball go into the uh, over the fence there. As that's a home run. That's Unger's 32nd of the season as he is trotting along here and extends this lead now 14 to one here in the ball game. As that's a two run shot there as he knocks in Colbera and uh, he is getting. Not much love there here in Baltimore as the fans were just booing him right into the dugout. But, hey, he is not worried. His team is going to win this ball game here if they can just close this out. Now, bottom of the eighth here, we'll see Adam Jones up the bat here. Uh, looks like our pitcher has 102 pitches, so he is getting uh, on that uh, hook. He could be getting on the hook here pretty soon, but we'll see here. Ground out here to Unger. And he will, whoa, overthrow that one right there. Adam Jones will get on board there by way of error. There you see a throwing error there. And that's what not what uh, we have not accustomed to see here from Unger. As uh, for whatever reason, he had enough time to get the ball there. But just bad uh, throw right there as uh, Edwin or Carson Owen cannot get to that one. And uh, Carson Owen is probably thinking, come on, dude. Not that tall. So Nelson Cruz up to bat here, 0-2. We're looking for a double play here. Score still 14-3 here in the bottom of the eighth. And Unger is hoping he can re redeem himself here as we'll see a uh, double play here. Nice flip there to second and to first. Nice play and a great double play that helps them get out of the inning. So they do uh, redeem themselves as they get the double play there. And now they're just one out away. From uh, ending this ball game here, and you see the replay right there. Unger just does a great job flipping that ball there to from uh, second to first. We'll see here final score here. Blue Jays win this one, 14 to three, and we'll see uh, Unger. He will be two for five of the ball game, a home run, 32nd of the year, two home or two RBIs, uh, and two runs scored from him. And we'll see that we're still in first place here. We have a five game. Our five and a half game lead here over the race as we win that one. And we end up winning the series there in Baltimore uh, three to nothing. So great series there, great series win. And now we just get ready for our last game here in the month of June before we uh, go to our next game. Before we start the month of July, getting close to the 4th of July, which are we are right now in real life uh, getting ready for 4th of July weekend. Hopefully you guys have a great 4th of July weekend. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but it, it will go up during the hopefully during the 4th of July weekend. So if you're having a, a 4th of July, hopefully you have a safe one. Don't uh, try to blow your hands up with the fireworks or anything. Uh, just enjoy the fireworks and uh, enjoy your uh, time with your family. And uh, just enjoy Remember why we celebrate this uh, great uh, 4th of July. We celebrate our birth of our nation and uh, the freedoms that we have for this from this country. So... 
but right now, just take a look here before we go for you in this episode here. We'll take a look at the all-star voting there. And there you see some of the guys that are going to be in the starting row, uh, could be in the starting um, lineup there for the uh, American League and National League teams. But we'll see here. Uh, we'll take a look here at, at some uh, league leaders there. You see Younger uh, leading the American League in uh, average and home runs. Uh, there you see there 32 overall. So he's leading overall the whole league. Uh, but RBI, same thing. 81 there and uh, having a pretty good season so far so as we like I said in the month of June uh, going against uh, we're gonna go back home to Toronto and uh, we're gonna end up spending the uh, well not so well yeah the 4th of July weekend I guess you could say uh, against Pittsburgh at home there in the next episode so if you guys enjoy the episode please leave a like also not to mention uh, if you guys are new to the channel and happen to well, have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscription button and check out other great series here on ESGN Net. Not to mention, you guys can follow us on social media for the latest in uh, video video news so when videos are coming out and whatnot on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. And uh, just have a great and safe 4th of July weekend. Uh, I know I am going to be having family coming into town, so it's going to be fun uh, hanging out with my nephews and my sister and uh, some cousins and stuff like that so should be a great time uh, but you know uh, again don't forget why we celebrate this uh, take a little time and remember why we celebrate this uh, national holiday it is the nation's birthday and we need to enjoy it so as always keep yourselves you know, healthy and I will see you guys next time